Good evening and thank you for choosing KIMA Action News Live at 5. I'm John Kennedy O'Connor. The 911 system is ageing up in Kittitas County and it's getting harder to maintain over time. Hunter Phipps gives us an up-close look at the ageing system and how Kitcom is blending old and new technology. Over the last two months, we've told you about the problems that Kitcom's aging system has brought first responders with radios going out in random spots around Kittitas County. The backside of ryegrass, so as soon as you crest the ryegrass pass, there's a radio dead spot in there. And it happens to also be a place where we get icy road conditions, so we get big accidents and fires in the summer. So that creates communication issues. Now we're taking you inside to show you the current state of the system causing those problems. Technicians tell me some of the technology you see was put in during the 1990s and some of those parts today are barely hanging on. That dispatch console that we have today is from the late 90s and it's it's just literally dying. <laughs> We've had literally computers actually flame out underneath the desk. And when things break, finding the parts to fix them is another problem. It's kind of a giant scavenger hunt in some respects because we're dealing with a lot of technology where either the manufacturers have gone out of business, end of life. It isn't all old though. There is new technology up and running and being integrated slowly. But for Kitcom technicians, blending the old and the new is not easy. The two technologies don't necessarily integrate or interface, so we're having challenges with that, trying to figure out workarounds to get it to at least work for the moment. But until all the old tech is replaced, the focus will be finding the pieces needed to keep a vital public safety system going. In Ellensburg, Hunter Phipps, Action News. Thanks, Hunter. And Elliot tells us the county sales tax measure, taking two cents from every $10 purchase for replacing the system, would give them enough money to slowly integrate new technology over the next seven to ten years. The ballot for that measure is set for April 23rd of this year. But in the case the measure were to be voted down, that would mean that local police and fire departments would more than likely have to bear the brunt of the cost of modernizing the KitCon system. According to Kitcom, the measure is estimated to bring in around 20 to 22 million dollars over 10 years. That would make replacing the system much easier. But if voters say no to this measure, charging police and fire departments more money would be the avenue for modernizing the county's 911 system. Right now, Kitcom officials tell us local police and fire departments are already providing the majority of the funding for Kitcom. We're going to spend the money regardless because we absolutely have to rebuild the infrastructure. It's a matter of who pays it and how. And Elliot also adds passing the measure would allow them to apply for federal grants to apply with infrastructure costs.